Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So, in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, the various uh, ways uh, to use the for loop uh, in order to uh, increase the performance uh, and reduce the execution time of a Java program. Okay. So, uh, to uh, learn uh, this, uh, just we are uh, uh, taking an array here. Okay. So, what we are doing is uh, first let us uh, declare an array of uh, size 5 here okay so i'm taking this syntax here array 1 is equal to new int of 5 okay so i've just taken an array here array 1 and what we're, what i'm doing is uh, before uh, uh, since i have said that we are going to calculate uh, the performance uh, of the system so first before uh, uh, so here what your our idea is to take uh, the nested loops uh, two different uh, uh, variations of for loops and uh, uh, test how long does the cpu takes to execute uh, these uh, for loops here okay so for that uh, i am taking first i am taking uh, calculating the system time here okay so further i am taking a long t1 because we are calculating the system uh, current uh, time in uh, milliseconds here okay uh, system dot current uh, we have this uh, method here current time in millis okay so net beans does everything automatically uh, you, here you get the current system time okay so if you if you want you can uh, print that using the system dot out dot uh, print ln uh, anyway okay so first uh, next we are uh, uh, taking the first for loop okay for loop one i'm just putting a comment here okay the first set of for loops uh, where uh, our intention is to take an acid for loop and initialize an array uh, uh, which we have taken here which is uh, array one here okay and the first instance of the for loop uh, goes like this the first outermost uh, loop here int i is equal to zero uh, and i is equal to zero i less than uh, one lakh or 1 million uh, wantedly I'm taking a, a huge uh, number here okay uh, let us say 1 million or I can take more than that also because uh, we need to track uh, the count the number of uh, uh, system milliseconds okay so we need to get uh, some good number to understand the difference between uh, how the loops uh, the performance is uh, taken here okay so for this reason I have taken a, an outer loop which has uh, 1 million uh, iterations here uh, and then uh, we have taken a uh, and then we are taking another uh, uh, inside that we are taking another for loop here int x is equal to uh, 0 and uh, x less than uh, length of an array dot length array 1 dot length okay uh, we need to uh, traverse <laughs> you are using the length property here uh, until the number of instead of saying uh, straight away 5 or something like this we, we can just use the property there and let's put the increment uh, thing here okay and now uh, what I am doing is uh, <laughs> sorry i uh, forgot to keep the zero here okay uh, what i'm doing is with the help of uh, and the syntax uh, array one of x is equal to i'm just uh, uh, initializing uh, whatever the x value we have uh, taken uh, within the within the loop here okay so what i'm doing is uh, i'm just repeating the same uh, statement here uh, let me calculate uh, to calculate or to keep track of how much time it has uh, taken uh, uh, the system has taken to execute uh, this piece of code okay so how do we get that uh, means if you uh, minus uh, here a long t2 is equal to system dot current uh, a milli uh, seconds means uh, so milliseconds the time of the system uh, it uh, the time of the system uh, system time calculated in milliseconds up to after executing this instance here okay so if you minus uh, this t2 and uh, this t1 uh, you get uh, you get the the number of milliseconds uh, this uh, chunk of code uh, has taken to execute here okay the next version uh, for next we are taking uh, the version 2 here okay so the small variation uh, to do the same piece of code uh, i am taking uh, the version 2 of for loop uh, i am just uh, putting it as putting it as for loop 2 i have just put in a comment here okay so instead of taking like this i am taking what i am doing is uh, let me uh, let me type it here once again okay so for again I'm taking a int i is equal to 0 for int i is equal to 0 and i less than uh, let us say let us take once again here as uh, 1 million uh, I'm just 
keep on uh, counting the zeros here okay so uh, 1 million and 1 plus plus instead of taking a uh, nested for loop uh, what I'm doing here is uh, okay, I'm straight away uh, using that array uh, and using this uh, hard coded syntax uh, I'm just uh, putting uh, all the values uh, initializing all the values which I intended uh, previously uh, to do with uh, uh, what we call uh, to do with uh, an, an nested for loop here okay so i'm just uh, putting all things here five different uh, slots so one one second let us say one let us say two let us say three and let us say four and let me uh, put different values here one two three and four okay so uh, after this instance again i am uh, calculate i am taking this uh, uh, line of code once again here and i am telling here uh, let me say that uh, long t3 uh, is equal to system dot current uh, milliseconds here okay so now let us uh, uh, calculate uh, the system time or the time it uh, the, that the time the browser has taken uh, the compiler has to, uh, has uh, given uh, to execute uh, the above pieces of code here the first for loop and second for loop uh, let, let us say that uh, the first instance uh, let, let me take the system dot out dot println statement here system dot out dot println uh, so let us say uh, for loop for loop one is equal to let us take uh, plus here uh, since it's uh, java t2 minus t2 plus okay again we should say plus here um, or else it we don't need a plus here okay. t2 minus t1 okay t2 minus t2 minus t1 okay Just a second, uh, says small mistake here. Okay, so we got it uh, right here. Uh, for the first for loop, we have just calculated uh, uh, the system time which has been uh, taken here. So if we take uh, t2 minus t1, uh, we get the exact uh, uh, time in milliseconds uh, to execute uh, this uh, for loop here. And if we take uh, the same uh, system dot out printer and statement uh, once again. <laughs> and if you say uh, something like this and for loop 2 and if you say uh, since it's a uh, 3t3 and t3 minus t2 if you say something like this t3 minus t2 okay now if you execute uh, the code here uh, obviously uh, the, there is an increase in uh, performance uh, in the second instance of the second for loop okay so if I run the code and you will get the clear picture of uh, what we are doing here and, and then we can come back to the code once again for the explanation it's executing the code uh, so here we go okay so for the first for loop it took uh, 20 milliseconds uh, to execute and and for the second uh, for loop and for the second for loop it has taken uh, for loop 3 okay once again I'm saying for loop 2 instead of saying for loop 3 okay so let us uh, execute once again here run the code once again here okay so the first for loop it has taken 16 uh, milliseconds and for the second uh, instance it has taken uh, only 3 uh, milliseconds okay so if you, uh, you get the uh, idea here uh, so if we, uh, go back to the uh, code once again uh, and go back to the code once again let me close my Facebook here okay so if we go back to the code once again uh, and for the first instance uh, here we have uh, the for loop uh, that t1 t2 minus t1 uh, actually uh, it's taking a bit uh, longer here because uh, a bit longer here in uh, first instance of the for loop uh, because uh, because we have a nested for loop and we are uh, uh, instead of uh, directly assigning uh, the value we are taking another for loop uh, to do the job here okay so the same thing we have uh, done here uh, directly using the index operator okay so in using the using the index value without using an uh, an extra for loop okay so uh, so if you run the code and you see uh, the same thing if you do it directly you, you got you have uh, saved some uh, milliseconds of the execution time so in that way uh, you can uh, improve your performance of your uh, programs okay so this is this is called as uh, 
uh, this technique uh, in Java is known as unwinding or uh, loop unrolling. Okay, sometimes it can uh, uh, improve the performance of your programs if you are doing uh, serious applications. Uh, this might help you. Okay, so see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.